guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Cutting Corso. So I'm just sitting here hanging out with the dogs. It's a um, pretty hot day today. Velocity's doing her crazy dance. Being a funny butt. What's up, Velocity? What's up, big dog? What's up, big dog? Need a big dog. What did you big dog? You have your toy? Good dog. Blondie, no. I see you. <laughs> if we have Blondie out, she's not quite in heat yet. She's been hormonal and stuff, so so I um, have been putting her up whenever she gets hormonal. There's Batista. Batista! You're your pretty boy. Yes, you are. You're tired. You're a good girl, Liberty. You're a good girl, Liberty. Yep, 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 yep. You're a good girl. No, get back. I can't. I <laughs> can't film you. When you're up in my face. Yeah, I can't film you when you're in my face. What's your squishy face? What's your squishy face, girl? Did your squishy face, girl? Oh, did the Batista come over with the big old fat head? No, no, Liberty. You can't get in my face. No, 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 no. Get back. Get back. Yeah. Okay, he's not going to get her now. Little love bites. Little love bites. Oh, you guys are being cute. There are a couple. Mm, Bella Donna's in the kennel. She's she yep, she's bad. She kept um, she's been trying to develop a habit of anytime I feed the dog, she um, will run over to their food bowl and she'll lay over in submissive posture and kind of inch up and try to get them to give them her food submissively. Um, even though she's already eaten. Ah, quit it. You see that? You see? So Blondie just tried to get her foot around um, uh, Liberty so that she could dominate her, and that's the kind of behavior, that humping behavior is normal for a female that's going into heat, but it's um, very dangerous for a pack environment, and so I um, have to put her away when she starts to get all cray-cray. And Preacher's over there with Savannah. Big fat head. Fathead preacher. I need a pillow like this one. Yeah, don't we all? Raise your hand if you want a preacher pillow. So um, anyway, I've got Batista's ears up again. I'm trying something di something different. Um, what I was doing was working, but the, he just would he just kept flipping them back over. Like it would work for a while, and then they'd flip back over. This is um, different. It's called posting. So he has. A, a large jumbo um, uh, what is it um, popsicle stick in there um, and it's um, got a lot of uh, paper towels and tape around it to make it nice and soft so I'm going to show you guys something look at this she so pay attention to the, the to the ears to the jerkiness of the head look how how the ears are super forward and um, Look at the, the eyebrows, the the expression, the archiness of the head. Look at the ears really high up. Our ears are as high up as possible. The neck is arched. Those are all signs of dominance. And so she wanted to dominate Liberty. Liberty's a sweetheart. She's a baby, so she kind of let her. She just laid over. But even that look on Blondie's face right now is that of like, of like don't move, you know. And that's why you have to put her up because she's being, that's all hormones right there. And so she really has no control over it. I mean, I can get onto her, but it ends up just being like not even worth it. And and so, um, and so anyway, but she wants to dominate her. Yeah, I see you, Blondie. So the, the expression softened a little bit there, you see? So you can see that Liberty's responding to it by just being submissive. Yeah, see, you can see it's all over the face. People ask me, how do you know? It's in the expression, just like a person. 
They have very expressive faces, to me at least. Yep, so Liberty's just being a good girl and just let it go. And Blondie, you know, having already achieved what she wanted, which is her to submit, can't really do anything about it. She is slightly confused by it, though. Um, she That's why she's kind of smelling and messing with her bit, because it really wasn't, it's not really what she wanted to do. She, she wants to dominate, and she didn't really get to, um, because the other female submitted so, so easily. Um, and so she really didn't get exactly what she wanted, because what she really wants to do is hump something. <laughs> so... She does. It's the hormones. That's 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 literally what it is. But it's because humping is associated with dominance, you get this like this like confusion of the two behaviors when females go into heat. And they just people have seen it with Kajima. She just starts humping preacher like constantly. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's not even so much that she wants to dominate him. It's she wants to hump. But in doing so, she's dominating because in her mind, she knows that it's dominating. So it becomes this kind of merging of two behaviors that don't quite make sense because it's hormone driven, not logic driven. And so it can cause fights because she's not actually in heat enough for the other dogs to really respond to it. Um, like Preacher won't, does not care if Cashmere humps him whenever he, she's in heat because he knows that that's just part of the thing. But when him, when she's, just going through the hormones and she does it constantly he'll put up with it to some degree but sometimes he's just not willing to put up with it and so um and so it can cause conflict and especially if the female is doing it with a dog that is not her partner the dog that she's going to be bred to then you've really got a problem because now you know this dog is dominating all the time hormone driven and it's it's going to cause fights so that's why it's better to just put them up because you'll have windows of like this where everything's calm and then all of a sudden it's not. And it's never worth it, in my opinion, having had pit bulls this way to take a risk because you don't want a fight. Um, that's like the number one thing is you don't ever want to fight. And so you have to do whatever you can to avoid it by, by playing it very safe. And the only way to do that is by just putting them up because they can't really control themselves and you can't really dedicate every moment of every day to watching them. So, um, so anyway, so I put them up unless I've got my eyes on them like right now. If I'm able to sit here, which I'm doing right now, I'm just sitting here with Savannah and we we're talking. So if I'm able to just do that, then of course I definitely will. And I'll let her out so long as she's not in active heat. But once she um, goes into active heat, then she obviously has to stay up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and then I was gonna show y'all. Clout is here. Um, show you the big dogs. Yeah, Clout is here for a visit. He. Um, oh my God. Look at Giovanni. He recently got his bandages taken off. To look at that dog. That is ridiculous. Anyway, I got that raised bed for them. It's really been working. These um, tire, this is like a, not tire, but this is a, a garage um, flooring. I really like that. I'll probably, I need to get more of it, but so far it's working well. And then there's their poo box. As you can tell, they're using it, which is a lot better than them using it on the floor. So I'm happy about that. I'll show you his crop. Looks really good to me. I really like it. Uh, yeah, hello, Giovanni. I know. Hello. Hello, cutie. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Yep, so you can see it now because he's up. His ears look really good. They're already standing. It's a really good sign. Standing well. You good boy. Yep, he's going to look really nice. You and you do too. You look gorgeous. You look gorgeous, Giovanni. Gorgeous. 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 Yes, you are. You're so pretty. Yes, you're so pretty. He's so funny. And Trinity. Trinity! So anyway, yeah, they love this thing, man. They're too good for the floor now, which is fine by me. I'm glad. Because they were, like, getting in the litter box, playing around, jumping out of the litter box, laying in the litter box. Like, come on now. You can't use it if you're laying in it. So... Um, so now they lay over here, which is awesome. 
and then I don't have to worry about it. And they know where to go to the bathroom, which is right there, which is awesome. You're so pretty, Giovanni. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Mm, he's going to be gorgeous when he's grown. I mean, he's beautiful now, but definitely show material, 100%. 100% boy. Boy. Yeah, you're very pretty. Yes, you are. And you're very smart, and I like that. Yes, I do. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Say what? Doing a live stream this Friday. What are you doing? Um, I think so. Yeah, I think we are due for a live stream. Weather, weather permitting. Gosh, he's beautiful. Jeez Louise. Anyway, well, I'm going to let y'all go. I um, just wanted to do a little update on the dogs and whatnot. So, hope you guys are having a good day. And I'll talk at you later. Bye.